Hey everyone, um, my name is Alexa and I'm doing the member spotlight today. Um, I'm really excited to have you guys listen to my story and my journey and I hope I can help somebody or maybe even relate to somebody um, in this group and thank you again for having me in this group. Um, I'm very thankful for it. Uh, I'm going to start off by once again saying I'm Alexa Randolph. I have a blog and podcast called With Love Alexa, and I will be kind of talking a little bit about my journey and um, dealing with invisible illness and how I got started with my blog podcast, and I hope you guys enjoy. So I, this was about three and a half years ago, I was, um, bit, I was in Las Vegas visiting family. And we were on our way home from dinner, and I had to, or, sorry, I'm like a little out of it. Um, We ended up, so we were on our way home from dinner, and the car ran a red going about 60 miles an hour and T-boned us on my door, where I hit my head really hard and my head went the other way. Um, Following that, I had a series of where I had to go to a, I went to a doctor there, um, because like the, um, the EMS came, they said, I'm okay. I just had a little bit of a headache. Um, a few days later, it started to get worse. Um, I went to a doctor there who told me he basically had a sinus infection and gave me a soft collar cause I was having neck issues. Um, and I had a CAT scan and all was clear. So a week later I go home, um, see my doctor who sends me to chiropractic and, to go um, to chiropractic and like pull, and it was just like I was just very depressed. Um, so as time went on, I started to work a little, and about four months in, I went to I got really bad. Like I still had bad headaches all the time. It felt like it was pounding in my head where I got hit. And after I went back to the doctor, I ended up having to go to a neurologist. Found out I had a concussion that whole time and about post concussion syndrome. I went, I started some medications, went on to um, therapy, and had tests done. And after about a month and a half of different medicines, doctors, I ended up having to get off of work where I couldn't work for about two years. I went through a really dark hole. Um, I just felt like I was useless. And especially because some people didn't believe me because I looked normal and looked healthy, but at the inside I wasn't. As time went on, I had lots of pain going down my arm, like tingling and some and bad pain just all over my body um, after a series of more treatments and medications and doctors and doctors telling me that I'm fine. It was all in my head. I was finally diagnosed with central pain syndrome and central pain syndrome is a neurological disorder um, from damage to your brain, brain stem, and spine. And it was it's just it was just a bad um, couple like a year and a half. Um, and even though like I found out what I had, there's no cure. And it was still like trial and error for a long time trying medicines and therapies. It's just the same stuff over and over again. I would get these like full body spasms that almost looked like seizures and I found out that that was like more of my body's my brain's way of saying like having all this heightened emotion and everything like PTSD kind of my body was trying to get it out and that's like it somehow came into full body spasms that would hurt for days um it was every day and it's still been a rough go I started working part-time and that kind of helped me a little bit more to get through like some of the depression. I also went to, then I decided to start my blog, which was originally called Be Forever Strong, hence the title. This was also my like little saying um, to get through the hard times. And I eventually started a podcast, which has honestly like been the best medicine the best stress reliever I've also it's been amazing to meet all these great people and I'm just 
I'm very proud of what I've done. And sometimes people will ask me if I had a choice to go back, knowing what I know now, what would I do? And obviously I don't want the accident. I don't want the pain. I don't want any of that. But without any of that, I might not have ever had what I have now. I have two books published. I have with my podcast and my blog. And it's just very, it's been so rewarding because I'm able to actually talk with people who have similar um, issues and similar like things going on with them. And we're able to relate and you see how really you're never alone. Like there's always going to be someone with similar situations that you can relate to. And that's like my biggest message is you're never alone. And no matter how hard life gets, you got to try and dig as deep as you can and be forever strong. Because that is honestly so true. Like you see all like people feeling like they can't do anything and it's hard. You don't want to ever feel, I don't want you to ever feel like you're alone. And you always have at least me in your corner. I will always be there for anyone that needs it. Um, and that's basically, I started speaking. I spoke at a couple places. I got a resolution passed with my township for central pain syndrome. And that's really my story, um, kind of where I got to where I am today. Uh, I still work part-time with social media and things like that, but I am just really looking forward to trying the challenge coming up and just speaking more because it is such an important message and just because people don't understand what you can't see, especially if you've never had something. But we've all had invisible illness of some sort, rather maybe mental health or pain or headaches or anything you can't see. So thank you guys so much for listening and I hope this helps at all. Um, Sorry it's not super long, but you can find me at Alexa Randolph. Um, A-L-E-X-A Randolph R-A-N-D-O-L-P-H dot com and you can find me on Facebook is and Instagram is with Love Alexa I have um, a book series a fiction book series that I started um, kind of before so and that's pretty much I have for you guys um, hopefully next time I do this I'll be a little longer but it's kind of my first so I'm a little nervous but thanks and I hope you all have a great day